I don't know. I just don't know. Quiet, please. I am trying to concentrate here. So what have you got? Me? Yes, you. What have you got? <clears throat> Ping Drama, Foot Foot Foot, Inglewarp, Carcinoma. It's as far as I got. Oh, ah, ah, I like it. I, I like the foot foot foot. Yeah, it's out of my ear. I don't know. I feel like it could use some punching up. Well, you can always start a few jokes later, Swifty. You gotta get through the through line first, though. Yeah. But is it Hamlet? Don't ask me, man. I'm just a chimp. She could have given us a clue or something. Yeah, or a story conference. <laughs> yes, but that would defeat the whole purpose of the experiment. Yeah, I know, I know. Three monkeys hacking into infinity sooner or later will produce Hamlet. Right. Completely by chance. Damn straight. And Dr. Rosenbaum at that boot is gonna prove it. But what is Hamlet? I don't know. <laughs> what is Hamlet? <laughs> I don't know. You know, this is really stupid, okay? Yeah, but what the hell else are you gonna do, Swifty? The sooner you produce the damn thing, the sooner we'll get out of here. Sort of like a publisher parish with a twist. <laughs> But what do we owe this Rosenbaum? Just a guy who sits up there outside the cage pointing, saying, that one's Milton, that one's Swift, that one's Kafka. Just to get a laugh? What's a Kafka anyway? Search me. Why am I a Kafka? I don't know, but his four-eyed friends sure think it's a stitch. How are we supposed to write Hamlet if we don't even know what it is? <laughs> okay. So the chances of us actually doing it are a little bit on the slip side. Yeah. And this from a guy who's supposed to be smart, a guy from Columbia University. Hey, the way I see it, there's sort of a province that oversees our pages. Rough draft them how we may. How about yours, Milton? Mine? Yeah, what have you got? Let's see. <laughs> of man's first disobedience and the fruit of that forfiven tree whose mortal taste brought death into... I like it. It's got rhythm. It really sings. Yeah? Yeah. But is it Shakespeare? Who cares? He's got a real voice there. Does Dr. Rosenbaum care about voice? Does he care about any of our individual creativity? Hey, let's look at this from Rosenbaum's perspective for a second. But no, okay? He brought us here to produce copy, and all he wants is a clean draft of someone else's stuff? We're getting peanuts to be someone's half. <laughs> Hey, writing's a mugs game anyway, Swifty. Well, it hath made me mad. <laughs> Why don't you just crank it out and get it over with, you know? Set up a schedule for yourself. Start in the mornings when you're fresh, then take a little break for a few hours and let the old juices flow. Then you start again in the evening, and then retire for a nice shot of papaya and some good, wholesome masturbation. How's that sound, Swifty? Is that too hard? You know, if Rosenbaum was worth anything, we'd be using word processors, not just antiques. He's lucky he can find somebody that's a type this good anyway, and he goes and treats us like the misfits over at the Bronx Zoo. Really? A tire swing? What's he take us for? Hey, screw you. I like the tire swing, okay? I think it's a nice touch. <laughs> well, I can't work under these conditions. It's no wonder I produce some garbage. How about the rest of yours, Milton? Mine? Yeah, read us some more! Let's see. <laughs> Yada, Ips. Whose mortal taste brought death into the blabagam, bratwurst, knockwurst, Tinkerbell! Oh, ah, ah, I like it! Blabagam is good! Yeah? I don't know. What's wrong, Swifty? I mean, I know it's a little bit of a stretch for me, but... I just don't think it has that same, I don't know, expressive intensity or pungent lyricism of the first part. I mean, sure, it could use a little work, but it's a rough draft for Pete's sake. What doesn't need some work? Uh oh, lights on! God, this bit. I'm watching. What? I'm watching. 
I don't know. My paws are over my eyes. I can't see. What? Why do they videotape our bowel movements? What? <laughs> Lights off. <laughs> so how about you, Franz? What have you got? Oh, well, let's see. Postmodernism? What do you mean for that? Well, at least it'll fuck up his data. What do you mean for that? I've been dry. I felt blocked. I felt like I was repeating myself. <laughs> but is it in Shakespeare? Who cares? I'm not a writer. I'm a monkey. <coughs> Yes, it sure is a long way to the jungles of sweet Africa, <laughs> where lawns and level downs and flocks grazing the tender herb were sweetly interposed. Paradise, wasn't it? Lost. 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 You see, I'm trying to touch on some of that in my next piece. It's a little close to the bone, but honestly, I think I can make it work. You know? Just because they keep us locked up in here, they think they have power over us. Hey, numbnuts. Last I checked, they do have power over us. And just because they control the means of production, they think they can suppress the workers? Hey, things are how they are, Swifty. What the hell are you going to do about it? Why are you always so goddamn ready to defend the ways of Rosenbaum to the apes? <laughs> to your independent food source? No. So call me a collaborator. I happen to be a professional. So if Rosenbaum wants Hamlet, I'm gonna give it to him. Because you gotta remember something about yourself, Swifty. You're not a philosopher. You're not a wheelchair-bound astrophysicist. You're not a brain surgeon. You are a chimp! And for Apes and in captivity, I don't think we have it that bad. But what scares me is if we're in here long enough, we're gonna evolve into Rosenbaum. <laughs> evolve into Rosenbaum? Brush up your Darwin, baby. We're more than kin and less than kind. <laughs> hey, uh, anybody got any smokes? Oh, let me try. I'm all out. Don't look at me. I'm not gonna satisfy the voyeurs with the smoking chimp act. <laughs> Come on, Swifty, don't be a sap. You gotta use the system a little bit, man. <laughs> what do you mean? Watch the master while I turn on the old antic disposition. <laughs> 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 you a cupid doll for that performance. Hey, it got results, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, sure. You can do your bonzo acting, you'll get a gawaz. I totaled my typewriter last week, and I got a whole carton of Marlboros. Yeah, but the problem with that was, Swifty, you didn't smoke them. You took a dump on some perfectly good Marlboros. That was a political statement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you made a damn statement, and I got my smokes. All's well, that ends well. At least we know they're watching. What? We perform, we break typewriters, we type another page, and a cigarette appears. At least it's a way that we know they're paying attention, right? Our resident philosopher, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, but what happens if one of us actually does it? Hmm? Here we are, set about to prove the inadvertent virtues of randomness, all to produce something we wouldn't recognize would pass through our hands. 
What if one of us does it? I think they'll set us free or something. Will they give us the key to a city or a, or a ticket day parade? <laughs> <laughs> or, or, will they move us on to Ulysses? <laughs> Why'd they pick Hamlet in the first place, huh? What's Hamlet to them or they to Hamlet that we should care? <laughs> now there's the respect that makes calamity of such long life, because who's gonna bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong. The proud man's contumely. Hey, Swifty! Uh, the pangs of despised love. Hey, Swifty! <laughs> Relax, will ya? That'd be crazy. Have a banana! I just wish we could get Rosenbaum in here. See how he does pleasing Hamlet. <coughs> That's it. What? What's it? Well, forget the random Hamlet crap. How about revenge? Revenge on Rosenbaum? Sure. Hasn't he come between us and our homes and our families, bereft us of our expectations? But how would we do it? Easy. We blur him in here to check out the typewriters. We'll test him out like something's wrong, but. We invent him the typewriter keys. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Sure. Little juice of the cursed Havana spread liberally over the keyboard. That'll work like a charm. And, uh, well, if that doesn't work, we can invent him the tire swing and invite him for a ride. Plus, I'll challenge him to a duel. <laughs> you know, Swifty, I think that's your most crazy plan yet. You really outdid yourself this time. But can't you see it? Over the course of combat, I just casually graze my rapier over the keys, and then whoop, there is a hit. There is a palpable hit. Get your paws off me, you damn dirty ape. And sure, for reserve, we can just lay by a cup of some venomous distillment. We'll put the pellet in the, po the poison in the vessel with the pestle. All right, Claudius. If you are going to go on your little rants, I need a back door. The man is going to want his pages. It's not a bad idea. But... No, wait, you, you guys, I'm onto something here. I No, you're not. I think it's hopeless, Swifty. But this is the goods, OK? The readiness is all, I guess. Damn straight, honey. Just let me know when the K button in your typewriter gives out. <laughs> all right, you know what? Fine. You two serfs can go back to work, and I'll do all the thinking around here. Swifty, revenge. Stuckle swans, hemorrhoid. Oh, I love the sound of that. Hemorrhoid, hem hemorrhoid. Ask one, C one, Elsinore Castle, <laughs> Denmark. <laughs> root, root, root. Enter Bernardo and Francisco. That's a funny name. <laughs> Soviet ecumenical. Bernardo says, who's there? And bazooka. <laughs> um.